Hi, and welcome to the Virtual Human Toolkit Tutorials. Today, we're going to cover downloading and installing the toolkit. The first step is to go to our website, vhtoolkit.ict.usc.edu. Here we have documentation, discussion of what the toolkit is, these tutorials, and of course, the download page. When you go to the download page, you'll see some information about the toolkit, a little information about the licensing, the system requirements, and of course, there's also the toolkit request form. Distribution of the toolkit is limited in many ways due to licensing restrictions. If you provide a .edu email address, we should have no problem getting you a copy of the toolkit. If you can't provide a .edu email address or aren't affiliated with the university, send us a mail and we'll work out what we can. If you have any questions or concerns about the licensing or about the toolkit, when you send in this request, include a comment at the bottom. These are handled by a member of our staff and you should get a response pretty quickly unless it's a holiday or weekend. After you request a copy of the toolkit, you should receive a, an email that looks similar to this. This includes a download link for the toolkit as well as the password for that page. This is not the actual password. Once you get this email, you can go ahead and download the toolkit. Here's the download page. There are three installers on this page. There's the full or regular toolkit. This includes everything you need to run the toolkit, example data, source code where it's available, tools. You can both create new content and create new modules for the toolkit with this version. At about half the size, is the binary toolkit. The binary only version of the toolkit does not include source code, though everything you need to create new content for the toolkit is in there. There's also the third party installer. This is just the most up to date versions of ActiveMQ, DirectX, and the other third party tools that make the toolkit function. I've downloaded the toolkit and already unzipped it. You see here's the zip package you would download and it decompresses to vhtoolkitfull.exe and vhtoolkitfull.dat, as well as the third-party installer. Now, when you run the installer, you'll get this message, followed by a license agreement. I've already read it, so I'll go ahead and agree. You can set the path where you wish to install the toolkit. Make sure there's no spaces in here. And then the components you want to install, the toolkit, the uninstaller, and in this case, yes, the third-party software. It's very important that you install the third-party software. Now here, the toolkit is decompressing. This can take uh, five or 10 minutes on the average machine, but through the magic of editing, it's almost done. When the regular installer finishes, it'll open the third-party installer. Again, it's very important that if this is your first time installing the Virtual Human Toolkit, you install the third-party component. Go ahead and hit Next, and we'll show you what components it's going to install. Here we have ActiveMQ, the .NET Framework, and DirectX for the toolkit. These are updated periodically. That's why we have a separate installer. But in this case, these look fine. I'll go ahead and install them on this machine. When you click Install, it'll copy a few files and then run the installer for the individual components. Here's ActiveMQ, for example. This path looks fine. See the components? Remember, you need ActiveMQ and the service. Skip a few progress bars there. Moving on to the next installer, that's the .NET framework. After a few seconds out here, we have DirectX again. Don't need to see that install. It's very straightforward and documentation is available from those teams. And once you've installed the toolkit and the installer finishes, I'll ask if you want to bring up the launcher. Click yes, and you'll see this. When the installer finishes, it brings up the launcher. From here, I can launch individual toolkit components, or if I just click launch all, it'll bring up the toolkit and we can get started. We'll cover that in our next video. For now, if you have any questions, check out the Google group, send us a mail, or check out our website, vhtoolkit.ict.usc.edu for more information.